Hey, what's up everybody? My name is D and welcome to Smart and Good Channels. Now in the last videos, I show you guys how to add products to your WooCommerce online store using your smartphone. Now today in this videos, I want to show you guys how to configure the shipping methods for your WooCommerce online store. Now as you can see, this is one of my customers websites I just recently built for him. So basically this is his old websites right here and he needs to convert this statics websites right here into something nice where he can accept payment for these products right here. So basically people can go in here, they can purchase the products and stuff like that. So basically this is what I come up with. I try to make his websites look nice as well as functional. As you can see right here, we have a nice category right here and down here we have of these new arrival products so whenever he add a new products it will populate it right here and uh, one of the pro tips is that whenever you create the online store make sure your products images are the same orientations if it's going to be landscape you need to make sure all of your products in landscape and if it's going to be portrait uh, make sure they are in the same orientations so that your website can look nice. Whatever is work for you is work for me. So as you can see, I already add these uh, products for him. So now whenever he has the products images, he can go on the WooCommerce apps and he can make the changes on the mobile phone, right? So uh, as you can see, this products right here has some variations options so for example it's going to be single part and it's going to be this size right here for the mounting on the left hand side so it's going to give the users the total price right it's going to be the same things uh, so basically i convert his websites into that website right there as you can see right here these products has different variations prices so for the single is different price for the dual part it's going to be different price and if you scroll all the way down here for the uh, shipping uh, it's going to be different prices too for example for the uh, us it's going to be different price for single different price for dual and different price for triple and for all of the us territory it's going to be different price as you can see right here and for international, it's going to be different prices right here. So let me show you an example, right? So for this product right here, if it's double, it's going to be different price. So if it's going to be different sizes, it's going to be different price. So in the last videos, I show you guys how to add the products from your smartphone. And I show you guys how to configure these variations, right? So in this videos, let's uh, add these products to cart first so in this videos i'll show you guys how to custom the shipping method so that whenever people choose these products right here they uh, can proceed to checkouts and whenever they enter the locations for example i'm going to choose an example locations right here so this one is in north carolina so that is within the united states and this is going to be the cost for shipping within the US. So for example, let's enter a different address. Okay, let's uh, change the country first. For example, we are going to change it to United Kingdom. So for the United States, it's going to uh, charge uh, the customer a different flat rate right here, as you can see, and this is the total for these two products okay so uh, this is very cool because you can custom your website to accept different payment different rate for shipping right okay so in order to uh, customize your shipping method first we need to go to the uh, dashboards over here and if you scroll down you can go to woocommerce setting and once you are over here you can go to uh, shipping right here okay so as you can see we have three shipping zones so one is for the United States, one is for all of the U.S. territory, and one is for international, okay? And over here, we have the shipping options. So these are just some of the uh, options that we can choose. For example, we are going to enable the shipping calculator on the cards page, 
okay and uh, for the uh, shipping destinations we are going to uh, choose the uh, default to the customer's billing address all right and for the uh, shipping classes now as you can see on uh, his website right here uh, we have the uh, singles and we have the dual and we have the triple parts right so I'm going to create three classes for these options right here and we have uh, the United States we have the uh, US territory and we have the international shipping so so for these we can create a zone and for these we can create as classes okay so as you can see I already created but for example I'm going to create a quad part okay so all I have to do is just enter quad parts right here I can click right here to save the shipping classes and just like that is create the slug for me as you can see right here but I don't need it so I'm going to uh, uh, remove it and I can click right here to save my shipping classes and I can go to the uh, shipping zones right here and for example I'm going to create a new shipping zone and right here we can enter the uh, shipping zone for example it's going to be uh, America and we can choose the uh, shipping zones right here okay we can uh, click right here to search okay for example let's say in America I want to choose Alabama right and I can go down here I can uh, add the uh, shipping method for this state right here I can choose free shipping I can do local pickup but in this case I'm going to choose flat rate okay and we can uh, click right here to add the uh, method and as you can see right here we have the uh, shipping method we can uh, click right here to edit and as you can see like all of your shipping classes is going to be right down here so let's say if I create the quad parts, it's going to be available right here. Now you can enter the prices for these classes. For example, it's going to be $7, $9, and $10 for these classes. Okay, and I can go down here. $7, $9, $10 for these classes right here. And down here you can even do the uh, default cost for this one right here if we don't enter the prices for these classes all right we can uh, click right here to save the changes all right you guys and just like that we configure the shipping methods for our products now we need to go to the uh, products and our products okay for example we are going to edit this products right here all right you guys so let's say uh, you already create this products you already create all of the variations you can now go to the variations right here and you are going to enter the shipping method that we just created so for the uh, shipping class we are going to uh, choose single for this uh, black single part right here and for the double black for double we are going to choose for double okay so we are going to uh, save the changes down here first and then we need to update this products okay and we can uh, click right here to update the products now when the product is update we can uh, click right here to view the products okay so basically this is the uh, front end of this product page and we are going to uh, do a test order right so for example I'm going to choose the uh, single black and we are getting the uh, custom price right here and we can uh, click right here to add the products to cart and for example right uh, if we are going to enter our address for Alabama so we are going to enter United States right here and we are going to choose Alabama so the rate probably will populate it as the rate we changed earlier okay so it's only uh, seven dollars for this uh, state right here okay so people can go in here they can proceed to a uh, checkout they can pay with the payment method 
and as you can see right here the website is not configured with a payment method just yet the owner can configure the payment method with paypal or they can configure the payment with stripe secure payment gateway all right you guys i just want to uh, make this short videos to uh, share with you guys this cool configurations where you can add more prices to your websites to make it fair for you and for your customers i wish you the best of luck if you have any questions or if you need help with creating a website for your business feel free to uh, contact me i'll put all of my information in the video descriptions and if you have not create a website you can create a website with smart and good website builder or if you already have a website and you need better hostings please check out our domains and hosting services on our main website smartandgood.com thank you so much for watching and oh remember do good to feel good smart and good